The who there? And welcome to historic Tucson. <laughs> yeah, Tucson to me is sacred. He was sacred to me great-grandpappy, too. As a matter of fact, he said to me one day, he goes, Son, you got to teach the people. you got to teach the people the history of the place they live in in order to understand it fully. So I'm going to take Tucson on the tour today, and we're going to try to find a history that makes Tucson what it is today. So follow me. Just say hello. Yeah. Hey, I think I know this area. Let's start our point of interest down here. Let's go. right. This here is where the Indians used to camp years and years ago. I could tell by this here pile of wood. Hell, might even be a teepee. Let's find out. Yep, I'll be damned if it ain't a teepee. You can tell by the way the wood's cut. Hey, well right here, there's an inscription. It says, to come quake. That's Indian for cheap. And right here's a Indian War Club. Probably ancient. That just proves it. Let's take a walk over this way. <coughs> well, over here, we got what's called a cacti dilly rectum. And on top of that is five flowers. Now, that must mean that years and years ago, and an Indian girl had quintuplets right here in this spot. Isn't that beautiful? Then over here we have a, uh, a moon cactus. Now it, it points to the east. Now why it points to the east leads to me to, to believe another theory. There might have been an iron ore factory here a little later on after the Indians left. As a matter of fact, if I remember correctly, I hear that Paul Bunyan was through these parts. It was back when he worked in the iron ore factory with my great granddad. Yep, and right here proves it. Tin can. Definitely ancient. Well, look over here. Yep. Yeah, just as I suspected. This here must have been a riverbed years and years ago. If I am mistaken, if we follow this riverbed, it could lead us to a higher state of enlightenment. Follow me. Well, my theory was correct. All kinds of Indian artifacts out here. Yeah, we got some old iron ore too. Got some rocks. And look you over here. An old Indian moccasin. Probably Apache Indians. Yep, Indians did just about everything in this river. Wash their dishes, bathe their children, made children, wash their clothes, and even relieve themselves. And that's uh, it's probably why the river isn't here anymore. So what's this over here? What's this deal? Seems to be Aztec pottery. It is Aztec pottery. And it's in the shape of a buffalo. 
Years and years ago, the Aztecs used to go on buffalo hunts in these parts. And before each hunt, they'd make a statue symbolizing a buffalo. See that hole in the top? They used to stuff tobacco leaves and spices in there to make the spirits give them good luck for each hunt. And after each hunt, if the hunt was good, they'd smash their statue. Well, this one's intact. Must have been a bad day. Let's continue our journey. Well, I figured it'd be about time I showed you the big red thing. Tucson built that as a sign of wealth and taste. I see a lot of tension there. Well, it's time I'd be going. Thank you for letting me share my stories with you. There would mean the most to me. Well, I'm hungry. Thanks again and God bless.